Hi, my name is Ivory Harlow. I'm the organization director for the Fairfield, Hocking, Ross, and Pickaway County Farm Bureau. Today, we're going to talk about health benefits and insurance savings for Farm Bureau members. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Ivory Harlow, the Organization Director for the Ross, Pickaway, Hawking, and Fairfield County Farm Bureaus. Today we're going to talk about insurance savings and health insurance benefits for Farm Bureau members. I'm here with Adam Game. He is the Direct Sales Manager for Medical Mutual. Thanks for having me, Ivory. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Um, so we want to talk about the benefits available to our Farm Bureau members, um, maybe starting off with the relationship between the Farm Bureau and Medical Mutual. Well, that's a great question, Ivory. Uh, the uh, Medical Mutual and the Ohio Farm Bureau have had a partnership going back to 2007, and it's continued all the way up to the present day. Um, in the beginning, Medical Mutual and the Ohio Farm Bureau had a individual health insurance plan that was co-branded that had the association based dues built into the premium mm -hmm. and so a lot of times as you're probably aware as you've gotten questions what what kind of plans are available I hear about these Ohio Farm Bureau health insurance plans that were in the market those plans were sold from 2007 up to the full implementation of what is known as the Affordable Care Act in 2014 under the Affordable Care Act you can no longer have association based dues built into a plan. So a lot of those plans that individuals, uh, Farm Bureau members have, those are what's affectionately known as grandfathered or grandmothered. So they are still on the books, but you can no longer purchase those policies as a, as a new plan. I understand. Often we'll get calls in my office from farmers that either don't have access to health insurance um, or maybe they're running small businesses and they want to provide health insurance to their farm employees. Um, and so really that's the motivation for talking about um, the partnership with Medical Mutual mm -hmm. and what kind of offerings that we can provide. Um, what offerings are available to individuals then? Are individual members that call my office and say, hey, I don't have access to health insurance or health insurance is incredibly expensive, um, I'm priced out of the market, what what does the Farm Bureau have for me? So that's a great question. If you have an Ohio Farm Bureau member that calls you, what they have available, there are two different markets to consider when you are looking at anything that's non-group or employer based. Okay. You have the individual ACA market and you have the Medicare market. So the individual ACA market is geared towards folks that are under 65. Those folks have what's affectionately known as public or on exchange or private, also known as off exchange. So the big difference between the two is when somebody's talking about the on exchange or public exchange, that's where an individual can get a subsidy to reduce the premium that they would pay. Uh, and that's normally based on their income level where they fall within what's known as the federal poverty level. And that can actually be quite extensive. So somebody making a decent income or a, a larger family could still get a subsidy even if they think they make too much money. But then you also have the other market which is the Medicare market. Those the, That is a market that's focused on 65 plus in general terms and we, uh, most carriers will offer a, a what's known as a Medicare supplement or Medigap. Those fill in the gaps of original Medicare or there's what's known as Part C and that's a Medicare Advantage plan. Okay, um, so what is the difference? You managed you mentioned the grandfathered mm -hmm. um, and those kind of uh earlier plans. What's what's the difference or what's new, I guess, in the development? That's a great question as well. The, in new now or after the enactment of the Affordable Care Act, you all, all carriers that offer a plan in the individual market space have specific mandates that we have to follow when it comes to benefits, um, you know, deductibles, coinsurances, wellness benefits, everything like that. So normally you'll see things fall within what's called a metal tiering. That's bronze, silver, gold, 
and platinum. Those are the plans that folks are going to be looking at when I talked about being on exchange or off exchange. They're going to be purchasing uh, an individual plan that are going to be ACA compliant. Okay, I understand. Um, why would a Farm Bureau member consider an individual plan? Like, what would be some motivating factors? So, every individual or family has a multitude of different factors that are going to play into why they're going to purchase uh, health insurance. But some main factors that I see is managing your risk. So, you know, if you have chronic conditions or if you end up having an accident, you can ex incur some ex uh, extensive medical claims. So when you do that, you will end up um, needing to have some kind of backup for that and that's where health insurance are going to come in because generally speaking, health insurance or I should say medical claims are one of the main factors for bankruptcy in America. We also know farming is one of the most dangerous, most yes. accident industries. Yes. So, yeah. yes. Not to mention that, you know, with having health insurance, a lot of the plans nowadays have wellness benefits and different programs built into them that are going to promote a healthy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So Medical Mutual offers a variety of plans. Um, what, if you want to talk a little bit about the individual, the kind of different individual options for those plans um, and who, the eligibility of who can take advantage of those offerings. Sure, so it, when it comes to the individual market, we have plans obviously on the on and off exchange channels. That's also known as the public or private exchange. That's under the Affordable Care Act. Um, there are or you know, a multitude of different deductibles, co-insurances, uh, out-of-pocket maximums that somebody can purchase. But the nice benefit is we have very straightforward and easy plan designs for folks to purchase when, when they're out in the marketplace. Uh, I recently read that people enjoy shopping for insurance less than paying taxes um, <laughs> and less than going to the gym. So one thing I really like about Medical Mutual's website is they make it very simple to go on Yes. Look at the offerings um, and think about the individual characteristics and how they need coverage and be able to then either speak yes. with a representative or get a quote directly from the website based on those offerings. So it really simplifies the process, um, makes it a lot more fun than doing taxes yes. at the very least. So, <laughs> um, are there other factors Farm Bureau members need to consider when they're choosing a plan um, besides kind of what we've touched on? So yes, uh, obviously, you know, Individuals are always uh, keen towards maybe a particular provider system, whether that's a the hospitals or the doctors. So when you're out there, you want to make sure that your doctor and or hospital system is in the network. Carriers have switched to what's known as an HMO concept. So generally speaking, you're confined to whatever network system they're providing in your particular area. Also, generally speaking, in the individual market, you will have to consider if a particular Carry, carrier services that county. So, you know, Medical Mutual currently is in 55 counties within Ohio under different provider system HMOs. So, it, you know, for Central Ohio, for example, that's the Ohio Health System. Okay. Okay. Um, and again, the medicalmutual.com, um, you can go on there, look who's in yes. the network. Yes. Um, there's a great uh, article on there about the differences between yes. a PPO and an HMO, and it yes. seems like little bit like a foreign language, um, but it's spelled out very well on the medicalmutual.com yes. website um, for folks that are interested in kind of shopping the plans and learning more about um, what plan is best for their unique circumstances. Um, so Medical Mutual and the Farm Bureau have a long relationship. Um, we've been working together since 2007, mm -hmm. um, but maybe it would be a good idea to share with our members why Medical Mutual, um, why the Farm Bureau chose to partner with them, and, and some unique characteristics of Medical Mutual as a company. Well, first and foremost, Medical Mutual is an Ohio-based company. Our headquarters are in Ohio. Um, our we have outstanding customer care. It is every customer care person you will receive is local so generally we're Ohioans for Ohioans and we're a mutual company meaning our members are what drive the company we're not not answering to stockholders 
Uh, I noticed uh, down on campus, on Ohio State University campus the other day, that all the bikes are branded with Medical yes. Mutual, which yes. I thought was great. Um, back to that healthy lifestyle and yes. promoting that healthy lifestyle. So we often have Farm Bureau members call our office asking for more information on uh, Medical Mutual plans, on health insurance in general, and trying to demystify the, the partnership and the relationship between Medical Mutual and the Farm Bureau. Where can those folks go for more information or where can, can the county offices point those folks to get more information? Well, first and foremost, I would say yes, go to your county office and, and talk to either an OD or whoever that's specialized at that facility or that location. Uh, but you can go to medicalmutual.com and get a host of, of information as well and get directed to where you need to go. Um, the medicalmutual.com website has a full listing of plans, also has some information information about the Farm Bureau Medical Mutual um, relationship and the special savings um, and health benefit options for Farm Bureau members. So um, I would point you to the medicalmutual.com website to get a start. And if you are a member that would like some more information, um, please call your county office and we can provide you with an individual who can really help you understand um, the eligibility in the specific county you are in. So thank you very much. Much, Adam, for Thank talking you, with me about this today um, and sharing this information with Ohio Farm Bureau members.